What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with another video covering the latest beta of iOS 9. Uh, so there's some important changes with the third beta, specifically the new music app, which finally makes it to iOS 9. We already saw it on iOS 8.4 last week. It's basically the same app, and I do have a dedicated video on it, so if you want to check it out, I'll leave it linked in the description below. Now the big news with the third beta is actually the news app, so we finally get to check this out for the first time. So let's go ahead and set it up. Now currently this app is in beta, so only a few publishers have adopted the Apple News format and you can see them listed here. Now next up we get this huge selection of titles and subjects we can pick from. Now it wants us to pick at least three of them but you can pick as many as you want. So for example I can pick the publication Wired, a National Geographic, I can also pick Arts and Entertainment, Politics, Recode, and there's quite a few others in here. There's also The Verge and countless others. Now you don't have to select everything you want here, you can edit them later. So let's go ahead and click continue. Now next up, it's gonna ask us if we want our news delivered to our inbox. And I'm gonna say, sign me up. So there we go, the news app is now populated with items tailored to our taste, very similar to Apple Music. So you have a For You tab, which you can scroll through, tap on items if you wanna see the full story, go back to get back to your listing. You can also swipe up to scroll through a story or swipe to the right to advance to the next story. Now, if you're looking at an article, you can do a few things here. So you can share it using share sheets. So it brings up your share sheet options. We also have the option to bookmark this item and I'll show you where that is later. And you can favor this item. So now if I go back, I can go to saved items so I can see the saved story. I can also go to my history to see items I've looked at previously. Now again, very similar to Apple Music, if you favorite an item here like this story, this will actually inform the For You tab. So it'll actually populate the For You tab with related stories or items. Now if you don't like this article, you can hit this icon again to say you don't like the story so it won't populate your For You tab with this stuff. Now checking out these tabs down here, we have our favorites tab. So these are all your favorite categories or publications which you selected when you originally set this up. So if you wanna see stories specific from those items, just tap on them and you'll see them here. You can also jump to explore to change your feed. So if you wanna add additional items or categories, you can do so from this screen. So under explore, you can see suggested channels up top. And if you wanna add them, just hit that plus sign. If you wanna remove them, just uncheck them. We also have suggested topics like entertainment, US politics, health, and more. You can cycle through them. You can also browse down here. So for example, if you tap on news, you can browse by topics, browse by channels, or you can look at specific feeds. So if you want Buzzfeed or if you don't want CNN, you can uncheck them so you can customize them. It's very similar to Flipboard. Now, of course, my favorite category is technology. So you'll find things like Wired Recode, which I selected when I initially set this up. You'll also see Quartz, Daring Fireball, which I also like. You can also browse by topics such as open source software, driverless cars, hybrid vehicles, smartphones, tech industry, and inventions. So again, you can select this all, and again, we'll update your For You tab. You can also just search for them. So for example, I like cars, so I'm gonna search for automobiles. It starts populating the list automatically, and you can see there are specific channels like Auto Blog, which I like, Auto Week, and Auto Guide. I can also add this category, Automobiles. So now if I go back to my For You tab, you can see the story feed has been updated with items from Auto Week, Wired, and more. Now the news app on the iPad is formatted for the iPad. It's actually the ideal environment for the news app. So it's kind of like a newspaper. You have these individual stories you can click on. And again, all this stays synced across devices thanks to iCloud. So you can tap on the story here. You can swipe up to explore the story or swipe to the right. And again, you have all the same controls, just a different layout here. So you have favorite, share, or save. So again, we have For You nicely laid out. We have Favorites, we have Explore. Explore is definitely better suited here on the iPad. You have Search as well, and then you have your Save Stories. Now the news app does sync to iCloud, so if you wanna sync all your stories between devices, you can. You just have to go to your iCloud settings and enable it. So if we go to iCloud here, you'll see a new news uh, app item and you can turn that on. Now if you're like me and have already set up the news app on another device, you'll be prompted to merge them or delete the news app items on this device. So right now I'm gonna go to merge to stitch it all together. The news app also comes with an app settings panel, which I think is worth taking a look at. So for example, you can enable cellular data with the app. You can show story previews. You can prefetch stories. And if you select this, you can select on Wi-Fi always. So either choose Wi-Fi or cellular or never. You can also choose the number of stories that download. So you have none, 10 or 20 most recent. We also see some new search improvements. So when you swipe down on the home screen, you now get some Siri app suggestions iPad Foldering has also been updated, so we now have 4x4 instead of 3x3 three three arrangements. So if you're like me, you'll actually have to rearrange all of your folders now that they've been expanded to 4x4. 
Now, although the music app is pretty much the same one on iOS 8.4, there is a new settings panel which gives you a few new controls. So if we go to the music app, we now have the option to turn on high quality over cellular. So if you want the best quality, no matter what connection you're on, you can enable it. Now on the very minor detail, if we go to general, if we go to restrictions, we'll find that they've updated the icon for Siri and dictation. The settings page for battery also gets a new battery icon with squared off edges. There's also a new clock icon for display and battery usage of specific apps which you can toggle on and off. The photo gallery also picks up new albums for selfies and screenshots. The third beta also introduces a new two-factor authentication system for both iOS 9 and OS 10 El Capitan, but unfortunately I can't fully demonstrate that, so I'll leave a story linked below so you can check it out. Now there's some additional items which may have been here from previous betas, but I just noticed them now. So for example, if you're in the mail app and want to swipe on a message here to delete it, flag it, or whatever, you get these little icons in addition to the name. Also updated from a previous beta is the iMessage app, specifically the multimedia interface here. So if you want to take a photograph or send a video, just tap and hold, and you get a different interface. That also applies for voice messaging here. I also discovered with this beta that you're prompted to add the iCloud Drive app to the home screen when you set this device up new for the first time. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick look at the third beta of iOS 9, and I'll keep you updated as new betas are released. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Whoops.